advances there was an epiphany which brought you to architecture or brought architecture to you? Um, I think I, I kind of grew up wanting to be an architect. Um, I, I don't remember, I remember this moment when I was um, a kid and I saw this, I was, was playing with, with bricks in a, in a building yard and I um, remember myself like thinking, oh, this is what I want to do. Um, of course, I, I, um, I took that back in the future and then I didn't exactly want to play with bricks, but um, I think architecture is in fact a discussion between two systems. Um, and it's a, one is a system of, of imagining buildings and, and maybe building buildings. So it's between the, um, the imagined and the actual or let's say the virtual and the real. Um, and this, um, this was what I wanted to talk about, the recent project which um, happened almost by accident because um, I was at the airport and I saw this book which was a concise history of Greece. And, uh, and um, I thought this was curious. It was the moment exactly where the, we were announced that as a nation we were going bankrupt and it was a moment of crisis. I mean, it still is, but that was a kind of the first moment. And I thought it's, it's interesting to, to read about um, contemporary Greece. And so I read this quick history, um, and I, it reminded me that Greece had actually gone officially bankrupt uh, in the 19th century with uh, the government of Trikoupis. And um, then the International Monetary Fund was uh, organized to supervise Greece's uh, huge loan and the return of that loan. And I thought like, it's interesting that history kind of repeats itself almost every hundred years or so. And then I looked at this book and um, one of the images that struck me was this um, image of a cafe in Athens in the years preceding this big bankruptcy. And it spoke about the, the, this kind of um, large dichotomy of, of Greek society. And that as Greece was being formed as a modern nation, it was caught between two systems. One was the, because Greece was a kind of folklore nation. It had been under the Turks for 400 years. Um, and we were the modern Greeks, you know, as we are now. Um, and the other system was almost imported through Europe. And this was the neoclassical idea of relating Greece back to ancient Greece. And so there was this engraving in the book that we see on the screen, um, which shows a cafe in Athens at that time. And then there was one section for the um, Europeanized Greeks, the Alafranga. They were dressed in like European coats and they were playing billiards and 